Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. So I had a little Madame Glam PR package turn up while I was on vacation. I just wanted to let y'all know that I personally do not do New Year's resolutions, okay? But like in my personal life, but I decided 2023, I would try to sort of incorporate, maybe that's the wrong word. I basically, I set two goals for myself. I, maybe I shouldn't call them New Year's resolutions, but I set two goals for myself. One of them I'm not going to talk about in this video. It's a completely different animal. I'll let y'all know about that one later on. But one thing that I do want to try to start doing in this video or with this video and for 2023 is I would like to try to get better at freehand nail art. And I know I have said this a million trillion cantillion times, especially in my most recent videos, why are you gonna put yourself through all of that pain and trauma girl when you have hundreds of stamping plates, okay? I could create any, any type of art, any design with all of my freaking stamping plates. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just really feeling like I need to be better with a brush. But also, if you don't know, my dear departed Mimi was an award-winning artiste. And when I tell you, honey, <laughs> I'm not just talking about, oh, she could draw some charcoals and that kind of thing. I'm going to throw up some photos right here. I have three paintings in particular that are hanging in my office. And this one right here is called Combing Tangles. And she painted this in 1983. This is hanging in my office. This is Aaron's Tears. And she painted Aaron's Tears in 2000. Okay, so roughly eight, 10 years before she got sick. And it's absolutely stunning. And then I also have Desert Friends hanging on the other wall. And she painted Desert Friends in 2007. And Desert Friends, I think, was around the time that she really started to play around with super bright, vibrant colors. But her niche, her jammy jam, was Southwest and Native American art. And she would take her art to uh, different art shows, the Trail of Tears show. Uh, when I tell y'all, she I mean, she's won mayoral awards. Like she was freaking phenomenal. She owned her own art studio and she taught art classes for well over 40 years. And while she didn't pass down a single artistic <laughs> trait, a gene to your girl here, I do sort of feel like I did pick up the art, so to speak, of mixing colors and blending colors. I feel like I sort of got that art gene from her, but I didn't even know that it existed until I started mixing polish for my own brand. So that came in super duper helpful. Okay, so Tara, shut up. Back to my 2023, we'll call it a nail art New Year's resolution. I just want to try to incorporate at least one Manny a month, you know, one video for y'all every month where I do some cool stuff with paints, polish, brushes, no stamping, that kind of a thing. So let me channel a little bit of old Mimi here. Hold up. Let me scoot my chair up. Okay, so Madam Glam reached out, asked me what polishes I wanted, and I said, you know what? I already have a million trillion cantillion polishes from Madam Glam, but I only have two, no, three maybe, maybe four now uh, of their gel paints. So I requested the red, the black, and the white. I also requested another velvet matte top coat because I am hashtag team matte all of the things. And I requested two of their newer brushes. And then they also threw in a pink gel paint for me. So let me go ahead and open these brushes. I know y'all have seen these. Well, they were new, maybe like late summer. I got a petal brush. I requested a petal brush. And this is, ooh, look at that big old long. I don't know if that belongs there actually. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen a brush with, hang on. Hang on. Nope, it's just a really, it's just a really long fiber. So I'm gonna have to trim that down. But this is a petal brush and hopefully I will be able to draw some flower petals with the petal brush. And then I also requested a flat plaid brush. Okay, I honestly, I don't plan to hand draw a ton of plaid designs, okay? Because I have stamping plates for that that I, I will gladly use as sort of like my, my template, right? 
but we all know how very, very hard it is to stamp straight lines on a curved nail. Okay, we all know. But if I could get something down with a stamping image and then go over it with a brush to sort of fix it up or what have you. But also one of my pet peeves, y'all, is when I see folks take these super long uh, nail extensions, okay, and they want to do a, you know, a Frenchie extended nail bed type of a thing. And they fill in the entire free edge area with this skinny ass brush. Oh, ooh, it drives me nuts, honey. So I said, let me try this flat plaid brush because it's, it's, it's flat. It's flat. It's skinny. It's going to cover so much more space and so much more areas than that tiny little ass fine liner detailer brush. Ooh, it drives me nuts when I see folks do that. But hey, as we all know, you do what you have to do with what you have. But I thought, okay, even if I'm not hand drawing plaid designs, I can at least use this to fill in free edges or just larger spaces. I mean, this palette right here, it is sort of screaming for Valentine's nails and hearts and the whole thing. But I'm, I think I want to go a different direction. I think I want to bring out some, some sexy Tara. I think I want to bring out a little bit of, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, y'all. So I do not use my petal brush in this design. I do use the flat plaid brush, but this video was a freaking mess. I have no idea where that footage went. So you actually don't see me using it, but trust me, I do. So I chemically etched these ugly tips and I'm gonna use Madame Glam's White Lace, which is a gorgeous, bright white, almost pink. Uh, yeah, I think there's some violet in there, which is sort of making it a little bit pinkish. And it's got these gorgeous little sparklies, little sparklies in there. So I think I only do one coat of White Lace. This polish is freaking just beautiful. I love it, but I didn't want just a flat white for my nail art. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the pink gel paint in the pot, as well as the red. But Madame Glam is vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free, and HEMA free. The gel paints anyway, those are as well. And so, so are the polishes. So the pink is beautiful. Definitely Madame Glam foamy egg crate pink. It's beautiful. I'm not going to show you all the white because you already know what white looks like. But look at this freaking red. Good grief. It's beautiful. So here is my base coat. Uh, my base color is down. Uh, what? Oh yeah. White lace. Beautiful. Sparkly. So the only sort of detail not striping brush. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and use Madame Glam's detail liner brush. It's not as long as I would like for it to be for this design, but I'm going to work with what I have. So I'm going to do Frenchies on two of these nails and I'm sort of mapping it out. I have never just free handed some Frenchies. I purchased Vetsy's French uh, French brush and I enjoy that quite a bit but I've never just free handed and here I go I'm about to already screw up oh yep yeah, see mm, I'm just in my own way so here I am early early in my my free hand journey and I'm already cleaning up a mess but yeah so I just do a lot of a lot of faffing a lot of faffing a lot of lining up and as y'all can see or as y'all will see the, where my, I don't know what it's called, where my extended nail bed starts way up here. Yeah, this line just keeps getting longer and farther up the nail <laughs> on both sides. But I have this really old Bare Essentials like eyeliner, like a wet liner brush that is perfect. Perfect for cleanup. It's super flat, or rather super straight, well, straight and flat. But look how satisfying this is. Just look at it. Love that. Love that. I had to bust out this, uh, this cleanup brush several times. So now this is going to be my pinky nail, and I'm just sort of trying to align it similarly with the other, you know, the other nail. So, but trust me when I tell you, I do not use this a uh, tiny little brush to fill in my Frenchies, I promise you. So now I'm coming in with my ribbons. 
So I'm going to do one band at the top. And y'all know what a ribbon looks like, and I'm sure you saw the thumbnail. This is just going to be a ribbon sort of curling down the nail. So this is my sort of like the top of the band, or the top band, I guess, of the ribbon. And I have it angled, uh, what, farther down on the left side. And now I'm coming in with another band, and this is just going to be pretty repetitive. So I'm about to let this play out, and I'll be back in just a second. But I do do the same thing on the ring fingernail, but just I have, uh, I don't know, trans, not transposed. I flipped them. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back. So here we go, you guys. This is not the finished look. I just have all the black parts down. My ribbons are done. And now, now for the sexy Tara, the sexy Valentine. The plan was to go in with this red and outline my Frenchies. And almost immediately, I hated it. I was gonna do my Frenchies red as well as outline my ribbon, do the tops of my ribbon ribbons. I hated it. It was totally giving me gamer chair, gamer chair vibes. I'm like, no, this sucks. So I wiped all of this off and then I'm going in with this stunning y'all. If y'all get one gel paint from Madam Glam, it has to be the gold. So I have switched out my brush too. I'm going to go with my McCart number two. It is much finer, about the same length, but it's just much finer. And I'm going to be doing some curvy stuff. So I just thought, but be careful because mine wrinkled. My, uh, my black gel paint wrinkled. I got a little bit too thick there on the side. So yeah, I'm just going to outline. I'm just going to outline my Frenchie. But this freaking gel paint, oh my God, it is, it goes on like butter. I don't even know what the hell's in it. I know it's not glitter. It's not like chunky glitter. I don't know if it's super fine micro flakies. I don't know, but it is, it looks like it would be chunky and kind of hard to work with. It just glides on. It's stunning. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And by the way, uh, by the way, what Tara? Yes. The, all the gel paints dry glossy. So if you wanted to go over a mat, you know, you're like matte your nail and then go over it with the glossy. Cause I love that contrast between matte and glossy, but I am team matte all the things. And it also dries without a tacky layer. So FYI. So if you do use it, look at those, look how stunning those are. So if you do use it over a mat, then, then what? Yeah. Then you don't have to top coat it again. Okay. I think, I think I'm making sense. 
So now I'm just outlining the tops, the top of each ribbon band, ribband with this gold. And it is, like I said, like I, I can't say enough beautiful, amazing things about this gold gel paint. And this is the first time I've used it really, I think. I think. I think this is the first time I've used it. I, I will never be without this. And by the way, I do have a 30% off code to Madam Clam. It's BLL30. It's good on everything on the website with the exception of the outlet products because the outlet stuff is already heavily, deeply discounted. So now I'm going in with my glossy no wipe top coat. And you guys, when I tell y'all how much I struggled with wanting to matte these nails, but I did not, I kept them glossy. Look, and here I am congratulating myself and doing a little dance, honey. My first freehand art of 2023. Let me know what y'all think about this design down in the comments below. It is sort of giving me a little bit of a New Year's Eve vibe, maybe. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. It's still my sexy Valentine free-handed design, and I was so proud of myself, and honestly, it turned out gore. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but toot MF and toot, honey. It is beautiful. I would rock the hell out of this design. Let me know what y'all think about it, and also a big thanks to Madam Glam for sending me all of these beauties. If you stuck around this long, the keyword is paint. The keyword is paint. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and I will see y'all in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.